hey everyone welcome back and in this video we're gonna take a look at how we can set up our very new Microsoft terminal Windows terminal that is so um, I have spent a couple of hours actually wasted a lot of hours setting this up because right now if you see Microsoft does not provide any sort of release tab or anything like that where you could download a binary and get started if you want to make use of it you have to compile it from the source so after compiling what you're gonna get is something like this right so you can see i'm running ubuntu's um terminal right now you can also run wsl which is something new i'm also running command line and powershell there we go in the demo they just do ll slash right so that is what we are here right now now remember this is still very actively developing so you could expect a ton of changes but more or less if you want to get a taste of it here's how you set up i'll show you in this video how to set up this new windows terminal on your windows platform so let's get started so first of all what you need to do is you have to make sure that you are running vs visual studio 2017 not 2019 i have wasted a lot of time making it work with visual studio 2019 and trust me um i've done whatever i could it does not work for some people it have worked but i was always stuck with three or four errors which i was unable to resolve so what you have to do first of all is go to google and write visual studio studio 2017 right go to this link and go down here for older versions and download this visual studio 2017 so once you do that what should what you should be able to see is an installer something like this right which when you start off what it's going to do is it's actually going to start a, a vs code like screen which are not really vs code a visual studio screen from which you could actually select what kind of things you want to install and uh, let me just get to that screen i'll show you what you have to select there right so what you could see right here is if i go to modify in here what we should see is that you you should have this checked and you should have this checked right desktop development with c plus plus and universal windows platform development Apart from this, just make sure you have the Windows, latest Windows 10 SDK box checked, right? Now, for you guys, um, this might be a little bit latest, like a version more than that. So don't worry about that. It should work. And finally, make sure you're running Visual Studio 2017. The latest one is 2019, but I'm not, I have not been able to make it work with the Windows Terminal. So once you do that, the next thing you have to do is you have to enroll yourself into Windows Insider program. Now what that is, is basically you have to get access to a newer build version of Windows. So if you see right here, um, inside this Windows Insider program, what you should do is, let me see how we can get it right here you could see that you need a windows 10 version 1903 installed you might probably have if you have never installed um windows insider you would probably have when version 1803 or earlier so you need to get to version 1903 that's a strict requirement for making windows terminal work right so once you are on this version what you have how to get to this version first of all just go to windows insider program you could also go it go to that using your browser windows insider just go to this microsoft link right just sign up sign in with your microsoft account it's pretty simple and they instantly activate your insider program once you do that here just go to your settings add a windows insider account and you should be good to go right once you do that go back to windows update click on check for updates you should be able to see an update saying like windows update 1903 now remember this might take a little bit time to update and all but this is something mandatory so i would recommend that you install vs code and this this update right here simultaneously right because both of them would require a restart so that you could just restart once when when both of the tasks are done 
right so once you do that what you should be able to see that is inside your settings about you should see that you have a version of 1903 now remember you have to be enrolled in windows inside a program because 1903 version is not available for public at this moment right so once you do that once you are done with that what you should be able to see is that you are on windows 10 1903 you have visual studio 2017 installed with all those components i mentioned right all right so let me just close this right here the next step is what we have to do is let me just close these here as well what we have to do is just go to this microsoft terminal and right here just go not really good but it would it's just fine just go ahead and launch your cmd because right now you don't have the windows terminal go to desktop or whatever and right here right git clone this repository and then my repo or my windows windows terminal or whatever right what i want to write so once you do that what you should be able to see is once we wait a little so once you clone the project what you have to do is cd into that project that is my windows terminal and write one more thing that is git submodule update and recursively recur s i v e recursively update all the submodules present in your repository right it would take a couple of seconds not really more than that and uh, a little bit more than that i guess but uh, it's quicker than your download because it's the download above for the cloning of repository is almost like 100 mbs or something right all right let's see here we are so once we are done with that what we need to do is do one more thing that is just inside the step folder you would have a folder called nuget and you could see that what i'm talking about here this is our depth folder right here inside our github clone repository so dep n n oops nugt nugt.exe and write restore and write open console.sln right so it, it restores some sort of um things from here and you could you could see that right here we are making use of visual studio 2017 ms build right so make sure this all these steps are correct make sure you are not having this ms build from somewhere else make sure this is from visual studio 2017 right so once it's uh done restoring all these packages what we should be able to do is open this inside vs code but first of all let's just wait for this all right so once it's done what we could do is just say start here which will open our explorer and just double click on this open console.sln it will open your file in visual studio 2017 and uh, from here what we have to do is pretty much just set up our build steps so how we would do that we'll just see in a moment once it's done like loading our project all right let's see so once it's done loading the project what you have to do is basically touch nothing nothing at all really just go ahead and change this to from arm 64 to x64 or x86 now how would you know that we'll go to your this pc more properties if you see x64 here then make use of x64 otherwise x86 right i'm gonna make use of x x64 because that's what i saw there and change this debug right here to release that's pretty much it don't do any other change at all at this time of uh video because it works out of the box right all right so once you have done that what you have to do is right here just go to build and click on this deploy solution not build solution not rebuild solution deploy solution because once you click on this what it's going to do is it's not only going to build your project it's also going to deploy it by deployment what we mean is after building it will install it to your system as well right so it will this process will take some time but once it's done 
what, what you're going to see, I'm just going to show you right now. What you're going to see is once you go to start, you're going to automatically see these three new items, right? And this Windows terminal dev build is the newest one. So once you open this, you should be able, you would practically not see something like this. You would actually see a PowerShell window, I guess, because that's what I saw first of all. PowerShell window, right? And you are probably going to not see these icons here as well. So how do we add this stuff? So what you have to do is go to the settings right here. And what the settings would do is that it will open a profiles.json file, right? Which your terminal app would compress again and again. I'll leave a link in the description for a gist of profiles.json. This, this profiles.json right here, right? Which you could use. And how about getting these icons? Well, you can get these icons actually by going to this run, just hit command R to open, not really command, just windows key plus R to open this run box and write a uh, percentage local app data percentage, uh, the reverse, the reverse backslash, as, I guess, then packages and then a reverse backslash. Just open it and go down. You should be able to see something like windows terminal dev underscore some sort of stuff, right? Just open it, go to roaming state and right here, paste your 32 cross 32 icons, right? Make sure they are 32 cross 32 in dimension. I'll leave the link of these four icons as well in the description with the link of this profiles.json file. Pretty much you can paste all four of these things right here in this terminal and uh, restart your terminal. So once you do that, you should be able to see something like this, right? And you could pretty much control, you could see that this this is some sort of filter, right? You could pretty much control this opacity filter thing as well. If you like from this profiles.json only, you can control the behavior of these terminals. You can add new terminals. You can remove these terminals. You could launch these terminals with custom flags. You could request for a light theme or a dark theme. Um, the possibilities are endless. So that was a very alpha preview of Windows Terminal and how to set it up yourself on your system and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you face any problem don't forget to leave it in the comments i'll try to ask answer them and as always if you like this video don't forget to subscribe we are so near 100k let's hit it so that's all for this one and i'll see you then in the next video